24 hour event, same as Lamar, always fills you with a lot of trepidation, anticipation. It's our first ever 24 hour with the car, with a fantastic team, good drivers. <laughs> Hugely prestigious event, and to be a part of it is something I'm very proud of. Spa is the most important race in, in, the, in the whole series because obviously the extra points, and of course, it's the challenge of 24 hours. Radio check, Radio check, Radio check. Mr. Barry Walgreens. Historically, and it's the, it's the first 24-hour race for Bentley since Le Mans 10 years ago. So, uh, you know, you prepare hard for it and you work hard for it and, uh, you know, hopefully that hard work pays off. had some uh, fantastic results, obviously Car 7s had a victory at Silverstone on home soil and then followed that up with victory at, at Paul Ricard as well, so we're obviously in a really strong position. The team is well prepared, well drilled, the cars are reliable. They have hit us a little bit in terms of the, the BOP, it's going to make the weekend more challenging than, than it would have. Every other time I stood on this grid it's been because I'm racing, but um, you know, to be here with Bentley is fantastic, their first real go out of 24 hour with a GT. It's going to be tough, it's going to be a hell of a tough race. Pull you in at 45, no doubt, okay? Qualifying for us was uh, difficult, uh, it was a disrupted session, we had um, three red flags. It didn't all go according to plan. Not a disaster because at the end of the day it's a 24 hour race. So we have one car at the front, one car mid pack. It's done to us and the drivers obviously to make it happen now. We're here on the start line of the Spa 24 hour race. Uh, as you can see, a fantastic atmosphere, lots of people here on the grid. So, uh, you know, a little bit apprehensive, but that's normal for any kind of race, to be honest. Um, just looking forward to getting the race underway. Bentley uh, Continental 2T3 has been, uh, has been fantastic. Obviously, uh, so far this year, it's been, been great to us, uh, having two wins. Pretty confident with it here at Spa, but, you know, been a 24 hour race, anything can happen. So, you know, we just take it in our stride and uh, stint at a time, and uh, hopefully we can be there at the end. Well, we had 
quite a lot of trouble in the early stage of the race. There's a little bit of contact with, with car eight, which Brent, one of the suspension drumstick arms. But the teams reacted very, very well to that. Um, there was some very quick work to repair uh, the damage done. Yeah, copy that, correct. Yeah, boxes that, please. And then car seven were just very unlucky, I think. The, the amount of crashes that there was. Uh, some debris got in the wheel and actually managed to uh, to rip the brake line. So um, we changed it under safety car and lost four or five laps. And again, the boys did an absolutely brilliant job. I think that that sort of kept us, you know, in with a fighting chance, if you like. So um, we'll just have to see what happens in the next next half of the race. seems to be the, the night section to calm yeah. everybody down and everybody's got into a nice rhythm. All sectors are now green, all sectors are now green. Happy the team is well together, mechanics do really good pit stop, drivers are doing a really good job, so it's all good, it's still all positive. First things in the night for me was uh, I think went well. Uh, we double stinted and uh, we managed to gain some positions. We picking up. We back in 15 position with one of the car and 26 with the other one. Considering how far back we were with the drama at the beginning of the race, it's quite good. We've got a good pace and uh, still 12 hours to go. So let's see what's going on. Getting to that stage of the race now, where obviously fatigue's kicking in for both the, um, you know, the drivers, the, the mechanics, and the and the cars to a certain degree. So um, it's pretty pretty tough out there. But um, yeah, the Bentley Continental GT3 is doing a, an incredible job for our first 24-hour race, setting some, some some quick times and some, some consistent times. So uh, Steve is in the car now, and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can keep nursing the car and uh, get a good finish here. But I think realistically to um, to just get two cars to the finish was, was a hell of an achievement really. It's been a good race, uh, we finished in 13th place which was uh, very respectable. Of course we always come here with the intention we want to try and win, especially having success this year in the Blanc Pan series. But still very happy and uh, gives us a really good foundation for next year. I picked up a bit of debris after all the accidents in the first few hours and you know that's what happens in 24 hour races. But I'm really pleased for everyone, they worked really hard and we can take a lot from this and uh, come back next year and go for the win. This is, this is just the start of it, I mean, I think what we've learnt this weekend, what we learnt within the first five, six hours, I think, was, was just sort of, you, you'll never be able to gain that without actually doing, doing a 24 hour race. So for me, what we've learnt and what we can take away and, and actually put into practice for next year and, and bring back and be in a much better position is, is phenomenal really. So. Bring on the next one, I'm ready for a bit of sleep, but bring on the next one. <laughs>